Ahmad Arbery. Greg McMichael told police that day he thought Arbery was a man they caught on camera breaking into homes. And so I grabbed my Prison 7 Magnum. It's an old Glen County Penny issue, by the way. We pull up beside him and say, hey, stop, stop, we want to talk to you. And he just keeps on running. McMichael and his son Travis chased Arbery through Satilla Shores and got the help of William Roddy Bryan. You're a passerby coming through? No, not necessarily. Brian would later explain how he got involved in the chase and what he did. I pulled out of my driveway. was going to try to block him. Should we have been chasing him? I don't know. One time when I cornered him up over here, he was trying to get in my truck. Travis McMichael seems shaken, telling police Arbery attacked him. Everything's got to be done right. I know. I, 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 okay. I want it done right. <laughs> I got you, sir. So. This doesn't look good. I mean, it's just shot me. Greg McMichael tried calling his former boss, Brunswick District Attorney Jackie Johnson, to ask for help. Yeah, I was chief investigator with the DA's office for okay. 23 years, so I know what you got to do. None of the men were arrested until after the video of the killing went public.